What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Audio Stuff and in this video I'm taking a look at an interesting piece of software called Clear VoiceOver from FX Factory. It's designed to help your music and dialogue play nicely together in your videos. So how does it work? Is it any good? Let's find out. Roll that intro. <laughs> As ever, links to this software plus any other relevant videos I've popped in the description box below. And of course, this is not sponsored content, so if you do enjoy it, please let me know by hitting subscribe, give me a like. So what is Clear VoiceOver? Well, the idea is to help your dialogue stand out in your videos, whilst letting your background music stay where it should be, in the background. I'm using Clear VoiceOver in Final Cut, but don't worry, it also works in DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, even Logic and GarageBand. So in this project, you can see we've got our dialogue track and our music. And the way that Clear VoiceOver works is you drag it onto your music track. And then in the inspector, if we open up the control panel, you can see we've got our controls strength, which dials in the intensity in which Clear VoiceOver will remove those clashing frequencies. Mud removal, which tames those lower mid frequencies. Bass boost, which obviously boosts bass if your music needs it. And then you can tailor the output gain to whatever it needs to be. But before you do any of that, you need to hit the clear voiceover button, which instantly gets to work in removing the problem frequencies. Here's the before and after. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Of course, I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel. Which... Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Of course, I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel. Which... A big improvement already without even touching the volume of our music. But I'm sure we can do even better than this, let's get into the controls now. I'm just going to play around and see what sounds best. I'm mainly going to be altering the output gain and mud removal. I don't like the mud removal to be too high because I find that it alters the music too much for my taste. The last thing to do is just to lower the overall volume by just a couple of decibels just to bring it down. So after tweaking those controls, here's the before and after. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Of course, I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel. Of which Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Of course, I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel. Of which... So there we go. It sounds really natural, really soft, almost like the music's wrapped around our dialogue. So dialogue and music generally don't sit that well together. Music is very full frequency and dialogue tends to be very dynamic. Together, they can clash and can lead to build up of too many similar frequencies and sort of end up mushing together so you can't really distinguish one from the other or they can lead to peaking, which of course is bad too. You may not be aware of this, but my background is actually in audio. I used to write music and record bands before I sidestepped into video. When I was studying, I was taught that when mixing different instrument tracks, you have to treat it almost like you're making a dovetail joint. And what I mean by that is you have to kind of carve away certain frequencies so that everything kind of slots together. And this is exactly what Clear VoiceOver tries to do for the audio in your videos. Let me show you an example. Stepping into Logic now, and if you're not an audio geek, don't panic, you don't need to know what's happening here. All you need to know here is I've got two tracks of synth bass and two tracks of guitar. And if we listen to just the bass guitar, you can hear that it takes up a lot of the low and low mid frequencies. And then if we listen to the guitar, it's going to have lots of higher frequencies, but it will still have some of those low and low mid frequencies of its own. And then when we listen to them together, this is what happens. So between the bass and the guitar, I don't want too much of those lower mid frequencies to build up together and become overpowering. So I really want to encourage the bass to be in that bass region and I want to encourage the guitar to be more about those higher frequencies and not about the lower mid ones, essentially letting these two instruments slot together. So using an equalizer, I'm going to remove all of the frequencies above around 100 Hz. 
which if you're not sure what that is, that's starting pretty low. And then with the guitars, I'm gonna do basically exactly the opposite. I'm gonna remove all the frequencies under 100 hertz. There's a little bit of a crossover so that these two instruments can still blend together. But hopefully at the same time, they'll be staying out of each other's way. Here's how it sounds after I've carved away those frequencies. It may be hard to hear the difference without headphones, so I would recommend listening with headphones, but to me, these sit much better together, and this is exactly the same theory that is being applied with clear voiceover. So here are my tips for getting the most out of this plugin. Firstly, be subtle with your use of the controls, in particular, the strength fader. Now, this is the control that carves out those middle frequencies. Dial in too much, and you'll notice that your music starts sounding very hollow. Here's a track with clear voiceover turned off. And then voiceover turned on and the strength fader to maximum. Quite a big difference, as I'm sure you can hear. As you can see, it's important to be subtle with that strength fader. Secondly, be very careful with the bass boost slider. Most music has plenty of bass, as does dialogue. So really ask yourself if it actually needs any kind of boost. Personally, I don't think I've ever needed to boost this fader up. Lastly, one thing I've been doing is I've been using the voiceover plugin on my music tracks, and then I've been applying the Levelmatic plugin, which I reviewed recently, across the entire project. Subtly applied, these two in combination are just magic. It just gives everything a little bit more punch and presence. I'll link that video review below if you're interested in seeing what Levelmatic can do. Well, today I'm looking at a plugin called Levelmatic, which hopefully will help me deal with all of these things. Roll that intro. Well, today I'm looking at a plugin called Levelmatic, which hopefully will help me deal with all of these things. Roll that intro. And so is my opinion of Clear VoiceOver, and I'm a fan, and I'm going to be using it going forward because it suits the way that I make videos. In the past, I've spent lots of time trying to get audio tracks to work together by adding and subtracting EQ but that can be a lot of work. When I use clear voiceover, it feels a bit like going from a manual to an automatic car. Yes, you have slightly less control, but it makes a lot of sense. So clear voiceover is not what I would call a sexy plugin, but it is a very useful one. And I think if you make a lot of videos where you've got music and dialogue, I think you'll find yourself reaching for this plugin in every edit. It's like audio glue or something. It helps to fit everything together like uh, like a dovetail joint. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Of course, I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel, of which YouTube has hand-selected this video for you, and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out shoot better video. See you guys.